Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and it has been a very good week for Blender, the Blender Foundation, and Blender users in general. Now if you didn't catch it earlier this week, I already did a video on this, but the Blender 2.8 release candidate was well, released. And this is the kind of last minute preview version of Blender before the full 2.8 version is out there. So this has been four years in development, probably the biggest release of Blender ever, and that is seemingly going pretty smoothly. But today, today they got some much nicer news. Now this one is going to be conflicting for some of you, because I know it is uh, quite popular to hate Epic Games right now, especially because of the Unreal Game Store. I personally, I, I'm not on that train, but I can get that people really don't like Epic Games right now. So this one might be a little conflicting news, and that is all about the Epic Mega Grants program. Now, if you never heard about this, back at GDC of 20, I guess that'd be the 2019 GDC. Anyway, so this year's GDC, Epic Games announced their Mega Grants program. And this was $100 million to support game developers, enterprise professionals, media and entertainment creators, students, educators, and tools developers doing amazing things with Unreal Engine, and then the key part, or enhancing open source capabilities for the 3D graphics community. Does that sound like someone you know? Does that sound a little bit like Blender? Well, yeah, that one actually was pretty much purposely built for Blender, I think. And as you will see right here, Blender just got a huge chunk of that sweet, sweet Fortnite cash. In fact, they are getting $1.2 million from the Epic Mega Grant program. So this is, it's not all at once, it's actually over a period of time, but still $1.2 million is a huge amount of money for the Blender Foundation. And from the way that they're using it, I actually think it's going to have a pretty good impact too. So let's go into the news release here from the Blender site. And of course, I will link this along with everything else. Epic Games, as part of the $100 million Epic Mega Grants program, is awarding the Blender Foundation $1.2 million in cash to further the success of Blender, the free and open source 3D creation suite that supports the full range of tools empowering artists to create 3D graphics, animation, special effects, or games. The Epic Mega Grants initiative is designed to assist game developers, enterprise professionals, media, and entertainment creators, students, educators, and tool developers doing outstanding work with Unreal Engine or enhancing open source capabilities for the 3D graphics community. The Epic Mega Grant will be delivered incrementally over the next three years and will contribute to the Blender Professionalizing Blender Development Initiative. Okay, that is harder to say than you think. Uh, having Epic Games on board is a major milestone for Blender, said Blender founda uh, Foundation founder, which is also rather hard to say, and chairman Ton Rosendale. Uh, Thanks to the grant, we will make a significant investment in our project organization to improve onboarding coordination and best practices for code quality. Now, they, that may not sound like the sexiest way to spend the money, but I'll explain why that is a great thing in just a second. As a result, we expect more contributors from the industry to join our projects. And then from Tim Sweeney, we've got open tools, libraries, and platforms are critical to the future of the digital content ecosystem. Uh, Blender is an enduring resource within the artistic community, and we aim to ensure its advancement to the benefit of all creators. Now, just to be aware, these mega grants have pretty much no strings attached. Here, it's just, here's money, spend it on your project. So that, that's pretty sweet. Um, so if you want to learn a little bit more, I will link about the Mega Grants program. And then to explain a little bit about why this whole thing, uh, this, they're spending it on coordination and onboarding, is such a good thing. Well, you may recall Blender 2.8 is what it said. It was in development for like four years, but where it really started to speed up, where it all gelled, where the UI was redesigned and iterated quickly and things just really like turbo fire improvement was when they did something called Code Quest. Blender 2.8 Code Quest was like a fundraising uh, exercise to try and get the major Blender developers all together in one spot and just kind of improve things to get the 2.8 beta going, to, to get things on board. They got all of these people together because of that funding, and it really turbocharged Blender 2.8's development. And this is the kind of thing that they seem to be focusing this money on, which, uh, you know what? I, I encourage that. What I saw from the Blender Code Quest, it was an un, like, you just couldn't question. It was a huge success. Um, and if that's where they're going to prioritize, there's better coordination between their developers and better organization between their developers. And hopefully it means we'll see Blender 3.0 at a really high quality bar in a faster time period. Because I think there was more work done on Blender 2.8 in the last year than in the first three. Like it was amazing how much fuel the CodeQuest project seemed to really just amp things up. So that's a great way for them to be spending the money. Now, an interesting little trivia note here is this actually isn't the first time that Epic Games donated money to Blender. Back in 2014, uh, they donated 10,000 euros 
So uh, 13.5k USD to the Blender Development Fund to support FBX work and Epic Game Style Navigation Controls. This is a lot more specific and a heck of a lot smaller, but still a very generous donation in the past. So this isn't the first time that the Blender Foundation has been supported uh, by Epic Games, but this mega grant, this $1.2 million US, is just massive. So um, kind of an interesting program. It also, if you are using an open source tool out there, you probably do want to keep this mega grant in mind it's it's pretty much no strings attached money once you're uh, uh, approved do be sure to check out their their FAQ for details of what it's about uh, how you can get in and so on because if you are working on an open source tool like blender that can be used in the unreal engine ecosystem it's a great opportunity to get money as you just saw today and from the blender side of things I think this will be nothing but a win like having new money come in the only possible negative I can see is people going oh blenders well funded they don't need my money anymore but that doesn't seem to happen with really successfully funded projects they seem to still get more and more and more funding and support even if they've already got a huge amount of cash or a boon like this anyway so i don't think that'll be a negative but let me know what you think uh first off i'm curious if you came in this as an epic games hater but a blender lover is this moving the bar for you at all? Do you, do you, do you kind of appreciate them a bit more? It's, it's a nice way to spend that like, sweet, sweet Fortnite money, and they've been throwing it out massively. But I'm wondering if this moves the needle for any of you, that maybe you had ate them a little bit less. Um, and if you're a Blunder user, oh, I think this is just a win. But if you can see any negatives, I'm curious to hear them in the comments down below. But summary, Blunder has $1.2 million over the next couple of years, thanks to Epic Games and their Fortnite runaway success. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. All right, goodbye.